When the crib figures were taken out of storage recently, there was some discussion about the figure of the Christ child. The existing one was all of a piece with the crib itself, preventing it from being solemnly placed on the altar during midnight mass. What was needed was a new figure that wouldn't look out of place, but who could produce such a thing? And then a wonderful thing happened. Kate Viner, the sculptor, whose exhibition Resilience in Clay moved and inspired countless cathedral visitors over the summer, heard of our need and generously offered to help. It was quite literally an answer to prayer and an act of great kindness. And it was also highly symbolic. Kate is deeply committed to the work of Sanctuary in Chichester. And what could be a more appropriate symbol of its work than the image of the Christ child? who was born in a stable to parents who were then forced to flee their land and live as refugees. Christmas is a time of great contrasts. For us here at the cathedral, it's about doing our best to help people engage with the mystery and beauty of the Christmas story and to draw near to the Christ child who is our saviour. But it's also a time when we think of those who literally or spiritually are far from home. Those who've been driven from their lands by war or hunger, those who come to this country in the hope of finding sanctuary, all those who feel lost or abandoned. Sanctuary in Chichester is our nominated charity this Christmas and we invite you to support its work. It's particularly close to my heart because it's based at my old church, St Paul's here in Chichester, where I had plenty of opportunities to observe the remarkable care it offered. And I know that its work continues to develop as more and more people, like the Holy Family themselves, come to our community seeking kindness and safety. Fiona joins me in wishing all of you a very happy Christmas.